Welcome to Professor B Math. Today we're going to deal with long division. Before we talk about long division, I want to define long division. Here are groups, three groups of three. And this is a multiplication problem, of course. Just as multiplication is a quick way of adding groups of numbers, long division is a quick way of subtracting groups of numbers. So long division is actually subtraction. Let me demonstrate it with this simple long division. We typically say 3 into 15 is 5, and you know the answer is that. But for the sake of demonstration and linking subtraction to long division, let's speak it this way. How many 3's can I take away from 15? Can I take away 1 3? Of course I can. It's 12 will be left. And may I take away another 3? 9. And still another 3? 6. And another 3, leaving 3. And of course the final 3, I can take no more 3's away. Let's count how many 3's I've taken away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And of course that's your answer. So we've taken away 5 3's out of 15. That makes sense to you? So that was just to make sure you understood that long division is indeed subtraction so that when the children are reading a word problem they can define without using little tricks to help them to figure out if, whether they multiply or divide they actually know the function of long division and it will help them. Now I want to go over how we typically teach long division. We typically say 4 into 2 you can't. Isn't that right? It doesn't make any sense since when you were teaching um, place value a few weeks ago if a child called this two, you'd say that's the thousands place. We don't call it two. So right now, with all the power invested in you, you're calling it two. No wonder the children's brows knit when we teach long division. And we go on with the untruths. We say four into 25 is six. Well, that's not 25. That's 2,500. And that's not six. That's 600. And then we say 6 times 4 is 24. Am I correct? And then we do our subtraction and then we say bring down. Then we say bring down. And the children ask, well, why do we bring down? And we say, just do it. That's the way you get the answer. Do you see all of the untruth and meaningless statements we just did. And we continue. It continues. 4 into 18 is 4. Well, that's 180. It's not 18. And this is not 4. It's 40. And then we say 4 times 4 is 16. And we do our subtraction. And again, we say bring down. So I think I've done enough so you can see that what we're saying with our mouth is not making sense mathematically to the children. So let's do it again. But let's this time, let us do it the Professor B way. Now I might as well just clear the board. Okay, four. And what is the Professor B way? It's the truth telling way. It's the truth-telling way. So we start with a word problem. You have $2,583. Do 
and you want to buy, hmm, let's say you want to buy cups for my your school, and each cup is four dollars, or for your store maybe. How many cups can you get with the money you have? Well, the largest place value we have here is the thousands place, and we want to keep the integrity and speak truth. So our first question is going to be, can I buy 1,000 cups at $4 each? Well, 1,000 cups at $4 each is $4,000. And you cannot buy that because you only have 2,500. So that's what that X represents. You cannot buy 1,000 cups at $4 each, or you cannot take a thousand fours out of 2,583. You following so far? Great. We are now already at the hundreds place. And we asked another question. Can I buy a hundred cups at four dollars each? Well, a hundred cups at four dollars each is four hundred dollars. So yes, we can because we have 2,583. So can we buy, we can buy one, but we want the maximum amount of cups. So can we buy 200 cups or 300 cups or 400 cups? So we'll do the math and we'll figure out that yes, we can buy 600 cups. I'm writing 600 in the 600's place in the hundreds place and I'm saying 600 and 600 times 4 is 2400 now we do our subtraction and we're left with $183 and already we are at the tens place now so can we buy 10 cups at $4 each well yes 10 cups at $4 each is $40 and we do have that, we can, but we want the maximum amount of 10s. So can we buy 10 cups? Yes. 40, can we buy 20 cups? Yes, $80. Can we buy 30 cups? Yes, $120. And we know we can buy 40 more cups. 40 times 4 is 160 leaving $23 and of course we're at the ones place and we know we can buy five more cups five times four is twenty dollars and we end up with a remainder of three dollars makes perfect sense absolutely no bring down try this with your children this is in our book two of Professor B Mathematics Power Learning for Children. And do enjoy.